Well, in a previous video, we talked about reading a DTE meter after a grid-tied solar system has been installed. And it gets a little more complicated than that after you still have the grid-tied solar, but you add to that time-of-use billing. Now, the first two screens in the series, it, it, it holds these screens for three or four seconds, maybe. The first one is easy. That's NET talking to the network. You can see the TOU in the upper left corner. That means that you're being billed at the time of use rate, which changes in uh, at least in, under DTE's scheme twice a day. The next screen is nothing more than a segment check. If you got all eights, you have no missing segments and the data you read will be accurate. So after it's gone through the segment check, it starts with a series of other screens which seem a little cryptic at start and calls to the utility didn't help me at all. They could not explain to me how to read the meter. Yep, that's what we in the business call a real pickle. So after a while, I figured it out. Uh, screen one is is really simple. It baffled me at first, but it, it, it it's really simple. Zero four is the day, zero five the month, and twenty one the year. So we know what day it is. The next screen zero two is the eleventh hour, nine minutes, and fourteen seconds. That is the peak rate starting at eleven a.m. Uh, I pay twenty cents per kilowatt hour. And that stays in force until 7 p.m. Now, I don't want to pay peak rates. Fortunately, when the rate is very high at 20 cents a kilowatt hour, I usually have solar, which covers my consumption. So I never really pay the peak rate. The next screen is the off-peak rate uh, energy consumed. Sorry. Screen four is 19 kilowatt hours consumed during the off-peak hours over the past week or so. Not too bad. Not bad. Screen five is the energy consumed in kilowatt hours during the peak period. You can see that's only two kilowatt hours as compared to the 19 kilowatt hours off-peak. Great. Wonderful. Looks like the solar took care of my energy consumption for most of the time during that period. But two kilowatt hours billed over a week, not bad. We've had a couple of cloudy days and there's been some ovens running and that kind of thing too, which it will exceed the capacity of my solar. The next screen, screen eight, is 42 kilowatt hours contributed to the grid. So you may remember in the previous one, I've taken 19 off peak, two on peak for a total of 21, but the solar has contributed 42 kilowatt hours. Of course, I pay retail rates and sell to the utility at wholesale, but I've got double the energy produced that I consume. The final screen is current. That negative sign is a good sign. On this cloudy day, I'm contributing 340 watts to the grid. Although it's cloudy, there's some energy produced, which handles my loads today. It's uh, just a computer running a couple other small loads. Not bad. And here's a chart showing uh, on the, the vertical axis the, the time of day rate, which is off peak until 11 a.m., then it goes to peak rate, 20 cents a kilowatt hour, and then at 7 p.m. back down to off peak rate. You can see that the energy consumed is uh, reasonably high off peak, and when it goes to peak, just before, about an hour before the peak rate starts, the solar produces, and I have zero consumption during the peak rate. It does take an uptick about dinner time, but it isn't much. After the off-peak hours are over at 7, or, or, or sorry, the peak hours are over at 7, we start off-peak 
uh, in the next hour. And then my electric consumption goes up because nothing's really changed in consumption, but I'm losing the solar. So the solar takes care of almost all of my energy consumption or energy needs during the peak period. Pretty good deal. My last uh, electric bill was $17, and uh, there was also a credit for the dark months. So the question is answered. Is time of use billing uh, a good thing? It is for me. Maybe not for everybody. But if you have a grid-tied solar system, and that handles most of your needs during the day, off-peak billing or time of use is a good thing.